raconteur known for his strong Christian faith has died at the age of 93. Trua Cathy founded Chick-fil-A in 1967, and the popular fast food restaurant has since grown into the nation's largest family-owned companies, one of them anyway. WIFF News 4's Mandy Gaither now with more on how he's being remembered. Turret Cathy died peacefully at his home early this morning, but those who work for him say his legacy will live on. Flags are flying at half staff at all 1,800 Chick fil A restaurants, mourning the passing of its founder, Truett Cathy. Unbelievably generous, uh, great sense of humor. Jeff Taylor first met Cathy when he worked in the Chick fil A corporate office and even operated his own Chick fil A in Greenville before taking over the Chick fil A account for Ubi, which provided workers with uniforms for 10 years. He has done a great job of of instilling the, the values and the, and the leadership and, the, and, and I think just the, the times he took to invest in people is going to reap dividends for years to come. Kathy ran his business much like he did his life, putting his Christian faith over money, closing his business on Sundays. He lived his life to glorify God. John Holmes has been a Chick-fil-A operator for 35 years and says Kathy focused on the golden rule. Treating others as you would want them to treat you. Whether you agree from where his principles came from the Bible or whether you disagree, they're still principles that work today because they're real and it's a matter of treating everyone with honor, dignity, and respect. He's built his business on that principle and it shows that it's worthwhile to, be able to do that. Customers say it's faith, along with good food, that appeals to them, helping to make this restaurant one of the nation's largest family-owned companies as Chick-fil-A reached $5 billion in annual sales last year. In 2013, Kathy's oldest son, Dan, became Chick-fil-A's chairman and CEO. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 in Anderson.